Hello everyone. On the occasion of uh, uh, World Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Month, uh, I would like to give a few points to everyone regarding breast cancer, basically the risk factors and the signs and symptoms associated with uh, breast cancer. One of the most important risk factors is actually the female sex. It doesn't mean that it doesn't happen in the males, but it's the commonest is the female sex. And uh, one of them is actually increasing age. As the age increases, the probability of a person having breast cancer also increases. What is early menarche? Menarche is when the girl becomes attains puberty, it is called as menarche. Menopause is when she stops her menstrual cycle, that's called as a menopause. Earlier and late uh, menarche and menopause respectively actually increases the chance of breast cancer. The basic thing is, Whenever there is an increased exposure of estrogen, estrogen is a female sex hormone in the, in the body, there is an increased probability of having breast cancers. The other risk factors are when a person ha having a childbirth after the age of 30 years has an increased potential of having a breast cancer chance and also nulliparity. Nulliparity is when a female has not conceived at all because of so many other reasons that time also the probability of uh, having breast cancer increases. Then there is a family factor, there is a hereditary factor which is basically related to BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations in the body. Everybody would have heard of Angelina Jolie's story in which uh, she was actually detected to have BRCA1 and 2 mutations and for which she underwent bilateral mastectomy. The same thing, this carries a very high chance of uh, having a breast cancer, th this types of mutations. Other things are alcohol, excessive alcohol, obesity, then uh, the um, modern lifestyles of so many of these um, of the ladies with all with all types of type A personalities and with uh, uh, alcohol consumption and working late hours and not eating properly, not exercising properly, all these things also contribute to occurring of breast cancer. And also with oral contraceptive pills, it has been shown that patients and people who have consumed oral contraceptive pills for a long time they have a probability of having breast cancers and also there's something called as a hormone replacement therapy especially in postmenopausal uh, females uh, who uh, take hormone replacement to keep themselves young or to keep them to keep the levels of the hormones intact also have an increased tendency of uh, having uh, breast cancers there are other factors like if uh, uh, in the family, first degree relatives and second degree relatives have um, a breast cancer or an ovarian cancer or a pancreatic cancer or a prostate cancer less than 45 years of age, they also have a very high chance of having uh, breast cancer in the long run. So all these things are some of the important factors for causing uh, breast cancers. But how do we detect whether this particular person or what are the signs and symptoms this particular person has when she is having this particular type of breast cancer usually the commonest thing which a lady will complain of is a painless lump in her breast which is not causing any problems as such but it is a painless lump in the breast which is not which is increasing slowly over the months when such a thing happens it is a sign that she, she has to go to a doctor to show this particular type of thing many times it might be just a benign condition may not be associated with breast cancer until otherwise proven we have to take it as breast cancer and we have to rule it out the next thing is sometimes this uh, lump starts to become big within a very short period of time. This is one of the signs and symptoms of a person having breast cancer. And uh, sometimes there is also discharge from the nipple, usually a bloody discharge from the nipple or a whitish or a bloody uh, or a uh, pus like discharge from the nipple, which is also one of the signs of breast cancer. And some patients also complain of lumps in the axilla, that is the armpit and in the neck also which could be that the breast cancer has spread from the local area to the armpit or to the neck. Sometimes when the cancer becomes too big and it is locally advanced that time there could be some ulceration and bleeding from the skin which is one of the signs of advanced cancers. Then there could be some cauliflower like growth on the breast which is also one of the indications of an advanced cancer and there could be redness and hardness of the skin on this particular area which is again a sign of advanced cancer. Now let us come to a situation in which the cancer has spread not only from the breast but it has gone to other areas like the bones or the brain or the lungs or the liver. 
that time the symptoms are different the patient might complain of severe backache or she might complain of headache and nausea and vomiting or she might complain of breathing difficulty based on where the tumor is and where the tumor has spread to and sometimes abdominal pain and all these things are signs of an advanced or metastatic means it has spread from point a to a different location in different part of the body and these are the signs of the breast cancer signs and symptoms thank you